First off, you know, tonight's game is Black History Month, um, or we're celebrating Black History Month. What does it mean to you to be a part of a league that is acknowledging, celebrating, supporting um, just the movement in general? Yeah, I definitely think it's incredible and I'm grateful the league's able to do this in the inaugural season with how quickly things were thrown together and just hope they continue to promote diversity in the future. Yeah. Um, going back, anyone who doesn't know, you won the Patty Kazmaier Award last year for the best player in women's college hockey. You were the first black player to ever win. What does that mean to you, not only just to win the award, which is an incredible honor in itself, but also to be in the history books as the first black player to ever win? Yeah, it was definitely like an incredible feeling that I was in shock when it happened and just surrounded by a great group of teammates and support staff who helped me get there last year. But um, just allowed me, winning as the first black female allowed me to be um, a role model for so many young girls out there, which I'm really grateful for and just hopefully have them someone to look up for that their dreams can come true and they can accomplish whatever they want to do. Did you know going into the ceremony that if you won, you would be the first? Um, not looking back, I don't think I did, actually, no. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's cool to be the first anything, uh, but to hope to be the first of many is really special. And I want to ask you about um, your experience growing up playing hockey and just how you saw diversity, if you realized that there was a lack of diversity in hockey, kind of what your experience was in that. Yeah, I think I definitely realized at a young age um, also because I started out playing in boys hockey, so being the only girl and then being the only player of color. Um, sometimes I did feel like I stuck out a bit, but I was fortunate enough to be surrounded by great teammates throughout my minor hockey career, so I still had a lot of fun playing the game. That's great. I think it's really important that hockey becomes more diverse and more inclusive and more welcoming. And um, Now you as a professional player, um, what is it, you know, what's it like now? You said you want to be a great role model, be someone people look up to. How do you include that into your day-to-day -day life? Do you involved in any organizations that are really uh, putting inclusivity at the forefront? Yeah, I think in this past year, I've gotten a lot more involved with Black Girl Hockey Club, which is an organization that just promotes diversity in the hockey space by helping break down some of the barriers associated with entering the game and just providing a safe space for those that identify as black females to get involved with the game, whether just fans, players, or coaches. Um, and it's been a lot of fun to work with them and help get girls together and just know that there's other like them playing the game. So just continuing with that. How have you seen it change, meaning it meaning our sport change in terms of diversity from when you first started to now? Yeah, I definitely think there's been an increase of the number of players of color that in hockey. And I think um, with the organizations out there that are continuing to help support get more people into the game and breaking down barriers, I think um, the diversity is going to continue to grow in the next couple of years. And lastly, um, as one of a non-professional player paving the way in this space, trying to bring more people of color to our sport, what do you hope the future looks like? What do you, what do you hope to see in the next five to ten years, um, not just in women's hockey but in hockey in general? Yeah, I definitely just want hockey to be like a safe space for all and just a welcoming environment and that everybody out there feels like they can play hockey if they want to. Um, and just to have like the league continue to grow and be spread in it for not to be like there only is one player of color in the league and just, yeah, for it to continue to grow. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Thank you.